we were talking about design Rolled. clothes, and Brad has some writing on his shoes, and so I thought maybe what we could do to raise money is to design clothing, and we could put platonic quotes or mega, philosophical yeah, midwifery sort of quotes. Yeah, wisdom lover. He did wisdom it, right? lover. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kevin. We already got that one. And we could do uh, um, very elite, <laughs> where even Paris Hilton would buy it. No. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, okay, that sounds good. You you can work on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <Yeah>. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I will let you work on it. Your sarcasm was appreciated. I was just having fun in the interview. So, I know. Yeah. And you were mentioning as you were driving here. So no, we were uh, we were talking about um, like doubting ourselves. I think. Uh, so I, I assume other people know more than me. Oh, good. So, and even kids, I assume they know more than me. And then when I find out that they don't, I, I you know, I get surprised. Like, oh wait, I know that answer, response. So my question is, do we? I don't know if everybody feels the same way or not. Some I usually. Uh, think that, that everyone else knows more than me. And by everyone, you're pointing to where? Everybody in the room at the, at the women's club and party nights? Or, or yeah, yeah. Everyone at the women's club, everyone on the street. Everyone on the street? So is it... No, is, no, no. You have two views. The first view is this view that other people know more than you, and then you wake up to the fact that actually you know more than they do. Mm -hmm. So which one do you want to talk about? Hmm. If we, if we vote on it, we're going for the number two, Sam. Yes, yes, so I... I, I mean, one is one corrects the other. Do you want to talk about the uncorrected view? No, I don't. <laughs> I want to correct the... The second one. Thank you. Yeah. And and I usually, you know, when I do recognize that, it's like, oh, I actually can contribute. You know, that's. Go ahead. And what did what did Jeff do in this discussion? You said you both shared the same view. I don't know if he really believes it too, but I maybe he's just agreeing with me. All right. <laughs> That's what they, they call it. No, no, you have real. two views. Yeah. Which one? So, so which one are we talking about? I, well, I, I guess my concern is when I assume that everyone else knows more than me, like going into the room, for example, and I, and I feel like I have to not contribute because I assume that everyone else is going to do the leading or the discussion. So... But then, as we get into this discussion, I realized, you know, that people are revealing themselves, and or lack thereof, and then, um, and then I feel like, hey, you know, I, I actually know something in this area. It's a process. Same thing. You have two views. Still, yeah, right. So that you correct. But you still live the first, and you have to wake up to the fact that you really are in a good place, and you can contribute. Yeah, so it, it, it's a good it's thing. A, no, it's a good thing. It's a problem of, of memory. Right? Memory. He forgets what he knows. Yeah. What, what would you use that? Right. What would you say? Right, yeah. So therefore, there he should be some kind of remedy for that. Maybe some kind of toothpaste or yeah. aspirin or or right. all or right. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Maybe the answer is to speed up the fact that you really know. Yeah. That's it. Hmm. How easily we can forget something, and and in forgetting, have a lower view of yourself. 
But on the other hand, your your view is quite quite uh, correct. Why not wait before wait hear what other people think and then mm -hmm. see whether you want to add something or not. What? Yeah, it's the way you're putting it, though. I think so. I I I, uh, I the way I'm putting it is I kind of disable myself. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I cripple myself. Yeah. Yeah. By naming yourself something. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Who was good at that at home? <laughs> 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 I mean, I just thought I'd ask. Yeah. Is that likely or not? It is. Oh! Yes, yes, it is. Oh. So still playing a role. You know, it, it, it's the same... Yeah. It, I, I only brought that up earlier just to, to, to talk about it. Uh, yeah, good. Because just we were in the car. Good, good. But it's the same thing. I think it functions the same way like uh, shutting me down. Yeah. Huh. So that's the the crippling part. Yes. And then once I recognize that, or recognize that I have something to contribute in the group, then I. What What would happen if you were to contribute it to your at home? Uh. You get. You have. Get, you get people uncomfortable. You get them <coughs> wigging out a little bit. You get them having pursed lips. You get them leaving the room. <laughs> so it's that has power. It does. Yeah. 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 That has power. That's fascinating. Yeah. That's fascinating that it all comes from an image. Sure. It's like we're looking at this image that we have and we're looking at it in different ways. And I'm this, I'm that. If I do this, then that. But it, it's not an image, it is not an image he has of himself. It's not? It's an image that he sees in others when he tries to advance something of his own. Mm. Mm hmm. Right? <laughs> I don't know. Where did I learn that? Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Doesn't that doesn't that come from the view that he has of himself? It could be, but that's not the way in which he's framing it. Oh. Mm. That that hasn't been uncovered yet. Oh. But it may be true. So, uh, by the way, what happened? at home when someone did advance some view and they met all of this severe criticism and facial gestures and shaking of the heads. What happened to any one of them? Not nothing really. They they might get yelled at by the parent or you know, mom or the usually the mom at home, but you try to shut them down. But that's it. That's it. Oh. Sometimes there's a stick, you know, maybe beating. a hit. A hit, yeah. <laughs> so the threat of violence is behind you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think you should have said to them at that time? Hmm. Why are you hitting me? Or, yeah, okay. or no, that's not enough, huh? No. Why isn't it enough? Because you're not dealing with what they're doing. What are you doing, hitting me? Or what are you? Like a, they're afraid of what you might say. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're afraid. So why don't you deal with that? What, what are you going to tell them? I uh, 
So if they're afraid to hear something, maybe they're afraid to know or to have that knowledge. Yeah. The challenges, right? Mm -hmm. They're afraid of my challenge, their view of what's real. So what are you going to tell them? You got them, right? You got them, on, you got them right where you want them. Mm -hmm. So if we, if I say, um, can can you stop and listen mm. and put your hands down, <laughs> put mm. the stick down? But see, that's good. That's the consequence of what you're saying. Right. Mm -hmm. By the way, what if you were to describe what they're doing and the effect it's having on you? Hmm. If I was to describe that, they're like trying to, to to bottle me up, you know, like to silence me and contain me. Yeah, to keep, to finish it, to keep what? To, uh, to, to, to keep, to keep me from not sharing anything, to so not be... If you were, if they allowed that, what you're doing, to go on, how would that change the dynamics of the family? What role would you be... Would you gain a different role? I I think so. What and different it, role? What role. Would I think the family would be a little bit better. What role would you get? What role would I get? Uh, what role would, would follow if you continued with that? I would be like a, I don't know, like a, a person that share information. Oh, oh, teacher or oh, I see. Uh, like uh, uh, an encyclopedia. Just sharing information. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Come on, what kind of role would you be assuming uh, that they're blocking you from? I don't know. What what role is that? I don't know either. And you don't have the slightest idea of it, do you? Mm -mm. No, no. No, I think I have to think about yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> what do you think of that? You can't think of it. It's not very curious. It's like I can't even see the word to it. Uh, yeah. So you know what? Yeah, if I don't have a, a role in it, I can't even put words with it. It's if you were to put into words, right? They don't want to hear, but nonetheless, you were to go ahead and do it, and you continued with that kind of activity. Mm -hmm. What role would you be assuming in the house, in the family, in the, <coughs> in the clan? Mm. Well, they usually like don't be a know-it-all. This is a word. But what name do they give to the know-it-all? Uh, like a uh, like a, a person that speaks, like a talker, a, a, an information sharer. Uh, what role do they have <laughs> in the family? By the way, what's the difference between being a know-it-all and a knower? What's the difference? Uh, a, a knower, it's, I think, is more like a, a person that um, maybe just naturally knows something, or yeah. What what role would they have in the family? <laughs> you asking that question. <laughs> uh, 
Like a leader, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. Say it again. Like a leader. Oh. What are they blocking you from becoming? From becoming a leader. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. What would if you told them that's what they're doing? <coughs> they would, if I told them that I was doing that, they would feel like they would lose their power and control. Well, would it be like having to say, hey, you know what we're doing right now? You're blocking my views from being heard. Mm -hmm. And that keeps you guys from finishing. Keep you guys from... Controlling me? No. That, that's true, but secondary. Would they then have to judge whether or not what you're saying is worthwhile? Yes. Oh, yeah. if they had to do that, it would go one way or the other? Against them, against their... Suppose it went in the positive way. Yeah, we would all benefit, wouldn't it? Uh, what role would you then be assuming? Can I ask help from my friends? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what? what? Can I ask help for my friends? You already used that path. What was the word again? I forgot. Um, what role would I be assuming? I don't know. A, a teacher? A leader? Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. How okay. important is that in the family? It's important because there isn't one. It just seems like a bunch of... Yeah. Cats running so, around. <laughs> see, then it keeps <laughs> it finishes. That game, I'll tell you folks, that game finishes. Uh, that game isn't working. That game. So is. that there, there is or won't be a ruler or a knower. Right. That's what is there, and then they're trying to keep everybody the same. Mm. Yeah. It's a good reason why you can't say what you're saying. Yeah. Mm. That's the bond of the whole group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What would happen if you just told them that? What would, uh, uh, putting it into words. Ooh. <laughs> it could be good because I don't know if anyone has brought that up. Oh. oh. So you're keeping the group from being saying what's good. Yeah. And that, but that preserves the old order. Right. <laughs> Don't disturb what's already happening. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. I think maybe. I'm. I'm. I'm trying. I see. You sure? Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, oh. By the way, by not putting in, into words, I guess that means you keep your old position. Oh, you still want me to put a word on it? Yeah. I, I don't know the word. Uh, what role would you have if you don't take on that position or that opportunity to share your views? Right. So if I don't, then it, I would just still participate in the, the yeah. same... Yeah, yeah. Madness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just want to point, I think Regina has a dream or somebody, oh. You have one? I don't. Oh, ah, okay. All right. I, uh, that's good. Oh, okay. But yes, thank you. Should I move this thing in the middle? Good. Good. What's our colleague doing? Dad, like he's, uh, doing? he's doing some sketching. Oh. Yeah. Trying to that? not forget what I'm seeing. He, he hasn't entered the, to the memory problem. Mm. Go ahead.
Uh, what did you say? Oh, I said you have an antidote to the memory problem. Oh, I'm trying. So. Don't forget. <laughs> I have a brief dream. Good. I have a brief dream if we're not. The briefer the better. Well, probably isn't was worth it if it's brief. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now what are you going to do with it? Well, I raised it up. What am I going to no, do? No, no, no. Yeah, what are you going to do with it? I see you're bringing it up. What would you like to do with it? <laughs> oh, I'd like to explore it. Well, What would it be like at home talking about the value of talking about dreams? You know, we do talk about that. We, that's, a, that's uh, a lot, a lot of our dream in, in the village or in the community yeah. we talk about, and it's um, usually, you know, uh, but we don't have it where we break it down like, we're talking about it in here. Well, what if you were to do that? We, they, they probably, I think they would really be open to it. Oh. Because it's already... Now, would your role change? <laughs> uh, it would. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Negatively? No. Oh. So, Positively? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that. I, I think, yeah. Didn't you have a granddad yes. that used to do that? Can you pass those yes. around? <laughs> I'm going to try that. Yeah. So, but, um, you were all in, all here, the, the, it, would you say, like, in every game, family game, if, uh, if, oh, I'll pass on this thing. If the kid does risk it, if, Thank you. like, it seems like uh, um, they'll kill you. They'll kill you. <laughs> yeah, it seems like they'll kill you if if you actually did uh, challenge the game. Like, well, in, in, in well, this instance, in they're, this they're, instance, right? There are game. risks in life. Do you want to take them or not? Yeah, but he, but. You get the stick, right? You get you get a stick now. Yeah. And so if you come forward in your most genuine way, what would ha what is likely to happen? No. I mean, if he was six, eight years old. Yeah. 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 It 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 seems like does the. Like they maybe they create it in such a way that you you can't, right? You can't come forward. Like you you know you can't come forward. <laughs> of course, that's what the, that's what it's called. Yeah, that's but what now, it's called. But now we're looking at it. Right. Right, and plus if, if a person is six, eight years old, they don't know how to come at it in a way that at least I don't. Maybe it wasn't it for me. And well, I think just, you do, but, <laughs> but the threat is too overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. And you still get yeah. the stick. The stakes are too high. <laughs> right? Pierre says in the book, if that's what they can do with this little bit, what if really? I really... Yeah, what are you looking terrible. for? Are there two dreams or one? One. Looks like he's got what, what's he reading? Oh, uh, like there's two... Um, I, I there's just one dream on that sheet here, but done twice. Oh, so just the top one. Yeah. <laughs> Everything seems to go back to when we're all little, huh? Yeah, that's the problem.
Yeah. So, what do you make of the dream, Julie? Um, I took it to re reflect a couple of things that I have experienced. I, I looked at the state of mind of, I thought but didn't say that he wants to address high-end cars or high-end jobs. Talk louder than the Oh, job. I'm sorry. I thought but didn't say that he wants to address high-end cars or high-end jobs, that is, those that aren't too much trouble. And it caused me to think of the couple of people at work who have that attitude that they want a quick fix or that they don't want to be bothered by really serious issues. Yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't... I'm interested in you completing that last statement. I didn't think it would be that much, but wasn't sure. Yeah. But he didn't, he, he's saying it was too much to repair. Um, I, I, I don't know. Say, I think dream, I went along the, with him in the dream. The next to the last sentence? Uh, I knew the car was old, but it could be fixed and repaired. What was oh, that I, like at that moment? It's dead on. It was like coming, it was like holding on to something that I thought was very important that it wasn't, let's say, I knew the car was old, but it could be fixed and repaired. What was it like at that time in the dream? It was like holding on to something that I thought was valuable and that it wasn't just junk because it was too, too much to repair. It wasn't too much to repair. It was Say, pretty was easy. What was it like in the dream at that time when you made that statement? I knew the car was old, but it could be fixed. I didn't make it. I knew the car. What was it like seeing that in the dream at that time? It was like holding on to something that I knew this person was trying to junk. Did that <coughs> tell me the state of mind you were in? Um, <coughs> what is that kind of knowing? You called it knowing. What's that knowing? Well, it's, it was confident. It was assure, sure, assured of myself, assured of what I was seeing. Protective of what I was seeing. Interesting state, isn't it? Then you went on and made another statement of knowing, did you not? I didn't think it would be that much. What does that mean? In terms of the dream. Same thing. I just wasn't sure how much. Please, in terms of the dream, what does that mean? that I'm assured of what I'm seeing and that I can measure it in response to someone else who has a contrary opinion. Did you 
voice that opinion? No. Hmm. What do you think of that? Two kinds of knowing there, and you're not sharing it. What would happen if you were to share it at that moment with the mechanic? Because from your dream, is it likely he holds a different view? Oh yeah, very much oh, so. What would happen? Well, it would challenge his opinion, and he could um, recognize maybe that it's possible, or would that, would that dismiss it? <clears throat> would be playing a certain role. Yeah, that I'm better than my mechanic. Well, what kind of role would that be? Well, in this case, I know what what's necessary. I'm not the mechanic, but what kind I'm of able role to that be? diagnosing what's going on. What kind of role would that be? Role. Um, Uh, an authority, what kind knowledgeable of? person, expert oh, oh. at what they what what they're oh. doing, N expert at diagno diagnosing. Yeah, because he. So said, therefore, by saying nothing, it keeps you from that role. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's basing it on money rather than on whether it's repairable and fix, fixable. Uh, since you're not voicing it, what role are you then assuming for yourself by not advancing what it is you know? Therefore, how would he see you as someone who's not volunteering this information. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> How would you see you then? Average. I don't know uh, what average means. Average, uh, somebody who's not an expert at what, what they're seeing. So that's a, or a diagnose, you're, what, what I'm diagnosing. Role, what kind of person would he see? What kind of person? Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. You're not you're not revealing what it is you know. So you must be a, you must be seeing ignorant. You. What? I'm ignorant. Oh, oh, of the truth of what you know. Oh, I see. Yeah, I ignorant see. of I, the I, truth. Ignorant. Yeah. So you're you're playing the role of someone who is ignorant, even though you know. Yeah, being stupid. And so long as you don't put it into words. Well, I will remain ignorant or appear he's, stupid. He's therefore and still in control. In control and hmm. appears knowledgeable. Yeah. <coughs> oh, you're so always oh, that way. You're allowing him to appear knowledgeable and yeah. and, and to have an authority. Oh, I see. I see. That's nice of you. Yeah. I hope you don't change. Well, hey, Pierre, I was thinking uh, often, you know, people might want me to fix something, and I'd say, sure, I could fix it, but how much do you really want to throw at it? It's not worth fixing this old thing. You have an ancient system, and it's dead, and people don't make this anymore. I'll fix it for you for the right amount of money if I could even find the parts, but uh, you should upgrade to something new. It costs less. So I wonder, yes. this, I would have to ask Gina, what do you think of your repair guy? Because it's your repair guy, not some random repair guy. 
is he out to take you for a ride or is he giving you the best advice he has saying uh, maybe I can fix your car but it's not mm -hmm. worth it mm -hmm. so, in the dream <clears throat> She would be left with the decision of whether she still wants to work with that guy. That's right. Is yeah. what's your opinion of the guy in the dream? Is yeah. he somebody who knows what he's doing and is giving you a a good judgment, or yeah. or is he a huckster? Yeah, yeah. That's his, those are the right questions. But she's keeping her knowledge to herself. Right, well, so that depends. If he's a huckster, then that says you know better than that he's out to get you. Or if he knows actually yeah. cars, then you have, you're saying you have a competing knowledge with his that isn't real. But, but in the dream, she knows. So if we assume the dream, yeah. But what do you think of this now? Good points. Well, he, in the beginning when I took it, he said that it's going to be junked. I felt like I was caving into something that he said it was too much to repair. He wasn't explaining himself. It was like he was dismissing any interest that I had in maybe even repairing it. He w didn't explain himself. So that left me to come in and either say something so that he either explains himself or not, I concluded that something had changed in him, that he was more interested in not having any problem cars. For it would be a lot different in the dream if you'd said, hey, Mr. Mechanic, this car has sentimental value to me, and I'd really like to get it going. The, no, it was... It was it was more a contrast of him shifting, given what I knew about him. I, like I expected him to say, oh, okay, it would be okay to fix. But it's somehow he shifted, and now he wants no problems. Cars, just simple Yeah, but see, we, we're simple interested in what, not, what should be your... What should your response be, given the facts in the dream? But given that, I should have said something to him, thinking that I thought he was shifting to a new idea. I could have said very simply, I think in contrast to him, this is fixable and repairable. It's not junk and... Um, it doesn't look like it would cost much. See, then he could come back and counter see, it. See. You're staying with the event. Come on, go on the level of meaning. Oh. Uh, well, to be able to address that I'm, I'm appearing, that I'm going along with them, and I am ignorant of any, that, of what, I would like. I'm and, not sharing and, it. Pardon me. And no, in the dream. And no, and and present what I know to be the case. And obviously, he could come back and counter it. Well, sure. There's no discussion like the engine is shot and no. Or something it wasn't like that. that. It wasn't that at all. It was just that it was um, it was it was like he was changing his position. But how to uh, how to address them, and and this goes to I think work. Uh, I see that it goes to work. Say, so, just change the story for me, okay? All right. Um, read it, and I'll add the changes. Go ahead. Um, well, let's see. I went to work, or I went to. I went to work. I went to work. And there was a psychologist there that I work with. Or there, uh, there was, uh, was a lit. person there who I work with. Yeah. And uh, he uh, had, or or he had uh, said that. Um, There's a patient that you. The patient was junk, yeah. and wasn't worth. Uh, considering or repairing or working with. 
Yeah, and you thought? And I thought that the person really didn't want to work with any difficult problems, that they pretty much wanted to just have so an easy what changes, caseload. What changes when you put in a psychologist rather than a mechanic? Uh, it fits. Um, what I see sometimes with, um, no, wait a minute. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, hmm. That could go to the whole field of psychology, for that matter. Oh. Wow. Oh. I didn't see that. But oh. Uh, but you read just, it again. Uh, I went to my. I went to uh, my psychologist no, no, or no, see no, a psychologist. No, 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 no. Went to a hospital. I went to a hospital. And, and you talked uh, over the head physician. Talked over the head <coughs> physician, and, and he was saying that the a certain patient, patient was was a problem. Yeah. And it wasn't worth working with. Yeah, yeah. And I asked why he said that, and, and it would be. Go ahead. He said it would be too much to repair. That's Is insurance. It? I thought, but I thought he just wanted easy jobs. I knew that I knew the car was old, but it uh, could be the patient. I knew the patient was old, but could be repaired and fixed. Oh. And I didn't think it would be that much. Oh, oh. That would be midwifery. Oh, I all see. of it would I be see. midwifery. So do it again. Um, I went to um, the hospital. Uh, no, 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 okay. No, no. I went to a no, conference. No, no, no. You went to a gallery. I went to a gallery? Please. You please. Oh, okay. <laughs> I went to a gallery. Right. And the owner was looking at a certain painting. And an owner was looking at a certain painting. And he didn't think it was worth. He thought it was junk. Yeah. And you, on the other hand, could see that. Uh, it was old. But could nonetheless, be. it had great. Come on. It, oh, it was old, but had some integrity to it. It was beautiful. It could be repaired. If it had a little, it didn't even, oh, wasn't even, oh, 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 oh. just uh, the age of it could be so, dealt with. Uh, what changes when we just change the subject? <laughs> well, my role in each, for one, mm -hmm. and the subject matter is uh, more universal. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, uh, yeah, I see. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, now, what, why are you having the dream? Well, I thought it went to work, but I'm also doing work on looking at the field of psychology as a whole, and this could represent what I'm seeing about it—that they're not willing, <laughs> they're not willing to really fix it and work, repair it. And they're avoiding midwifery or the cause. They just want a quick fix, which is what I keep seeing in the different kinds of therapies I see and look at. Hmm. Even, even psychoanalysis, they claim that they want to get into the depth of things, but... but the, the all that is just by changing the... Language. <laughs> That's just by weird. changing it for the mechanic to a, uh, any one of the uh, above. Yeah. Oh. How oh. weird. And the car to a patient. Yeah. yeah. Gets you out of the particulars, doesn't it? Uh-huh. Oh. Well, then it would mean that what I'm seeing is more universal than... Yeah, and also more um, uh, what's the word uh, um, uh, it's universal but it's uh, by the way if you don't say anything what role will you be playing Oh, 
problem. And on the other hand, if Ignorant. you do confront the mechanic or the psychiatrist or the gallery owner, et cetera, et cetera, it's all the same, isn't it? Well, they would have, they would, they would, they, they, their ignorance would have a contracting, contrasting view. Mm -hmm. It would be, this is, that they couldn't, they couldn't hold on to their view as universal. Without, without come on. Without, rec without recognizing. Setting, setting out everything that they know to see whether whose opinion is right or wrong. Right. They would have to do something. They're, they assume their opinion is universal. Yeah. And it so do you. Would, right. And the dream. And well, therefore, it would be, there'd have to be a confrontation of... They'd have to sit down and, and, or, and we'd have to compare. And they'd contract. have to look at the painting. They'd have to look at or the, the pa pain. Or the patient. Or the patient. Or the psychologist. Yeah. Or the mechanic. I see, I see. Interesting. I see. Wow. Pierre, are we agreeing that in each of these scenes, Gina is saying that she knows equally what the other person does? And they oh, need yeah, to I'm, only, I'm only staying in the dream. That's okay. Yeah. I thought that's what we are agreeing to. Yeah. I was like, okay. Interesting. Well, I don't know about galleries, but I can say that about patients in psychology, what I've been seeing. Well, you use me. the example of the doctor, like the medical patient. Oh, no, no. I Did think hospital. Oh, I thought he meant a psychiatrist. Well, Sorry. Well, he started off, right? The dream says you're challenging the mechanic. And then he said if you change it to, say, a hospital with a sick patient, you're saying, hey, Doc, actually, I know better than you in the dream. No, I, I thought he meant... In the gallery, the... And I know better about the painting than you're... There's the challenge in each one of those yeah. statements. In the dream, That's right. you're saying to each one of these experts, actually, I am the expert and not you. You're you're cheapening out on yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. And, now, uh, and now it comes time for the... Right, now you would have to... Who knows what actually? Lay it let's out. Let's have a contest. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look at the patient or let's look at the painting. I, I, the actual hospital I took to be a psychiatrist. So I didn't see it as a medical doctor when I was in answering. And I could have that kind of knowledge. Hmm. But let's take it as a medical doctor. Yeah. It would still be open that you need to look at your patient. Well, either way, you see something that they don't. Right? Yeah. 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 I thought, but didn't say. Yeah. 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 So, so I thought so. Right. But didn't have say. to be a. Hmm. But didn't say. Yeah. Right. The second time. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. Interesting. Do you like this reflection on this stuff? Yeah, it cuts, when you're around you, it cuts through everything. Yes, it's brilliant. Yeah. Well, it, <clears throat> you know, it's very difficult, you know, to just change the character in a dream to see whether it might change or bring about another view. Right, when you say, you're focusing on the event, but w f the meaning, focus on the meaning. So by doing that in implementing other instances, that lets the emer meaning emerge? Yes. You just advanced something that we assumed, but you put it in words when you said, by reference to the dream, it's both a knowing and also a qualified kind of knowing. I thought, you know, agree? Mm -hmm. So therefore, there would have to be the comparison to see whether or not what she thinks is true or not. Mm -hmm. And you underline that by pointing out that difference. Mm -hmm. 
Right, so wouldn't this be a dream of we're curious to see what happens next? What? Well, wouldn't this dream be a let's see what happens in our oh, next yes. dream? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Either you know better than the mechanic or the mechanic actually knows and yeah. it's, a, it's a game. It's a test. Right, it's... Right, it, uh, that's the next. Right, right. So... <clears throat> Or right, or why, you know, if you knew better, then why weren't you speaking? Or yeah. Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Good dream. Well, I think you, Regina, if you don't mind, I think you told me a lovely story back here in the kitchen, something that, this is just this morning's dream, is it not? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday's dream. But you have a situation with the refrigerator, do you not? Okay, so yeah. Share it. Do you want to tell them, or shall I? Oh, that one. Uh, well, you could put that in. The guy who fixes my refrigerator said that it was junk. <gasps> and I thought it just needs a simple repair. It doesn't need to be fixed. He was suggesting you buy a whole new refrigerator. Yeah. This refrigerator? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the repair guy says it's old and not worth repairing. It's a beautiful It's all the same. <laughs> Same. Same thing. <laughs> Same thing. Just another level. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And all it really needs is another tube. It's it's, it's dripping a little, right? Yep. That's all. That's why I have the little towels around. That's all it is. It works fine. And it's not a regular refrigerator. It's a really nice one. Yeah. It's high in. It's and he even said so. The Dream Master even knows about fridges. <laughs> <laughs> even refrigerators. As far as but that was a long juice. time ago. I just mentioned it. He, I haven't talked to him. I haven't that. talked to him recently. No, not but recently. But in, in regard to Jeff's question, though, Jeff Lowe's, um, have you responded yet about it? Have you found a solution? Is that possible a uh, future choice? I could. I could ask somebody else to come out and look at it. I don't want to spend the money, but <laughs> yeah, I'm working on other things. But yeah, that would fit. For me, what's fun about this is it's, it's getting me to think about how the most mundane things, I mean, a refrigerator, for God's sake, or a car, yeah, there's no is pointing thing. to much higher. Yeah, well, this is Pierre's responding already. There is no such thing as a mundane thing, right? Like, <laughs> This brought you into psychology and midwifery and uh, a universal issue in your yeah. life. That's right. Mm -hmm. And it makes me, want, I guess what I'm trying to get at is I'm wondering if, um, what is it about life that, uh, is it just the dream master that brings these things up or does life bring these things up for us to see? You might ask the question. <clears throat> uh, why? Why did the Why did the dream cast the dream in terms of the mechanic and the car, rather than the psychologist? Because she would have immediately seen it. So by framing it in this way, she has to think about it. See? She has to use her mind to try to understand it. And that's what's really going on, that she's not, the dreamer is not using their mind on the highest level. So the dream master is saying, hey, here it is. It's simple. Figure it out. But I'm kind of, Pierre, I'm kind of interested in why like, has the Chrysler come up recently? Literally? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, yeah. Does it, uh, would you be willing to let me ask you, um, uh, does the Chrysler itself have any additional meaning to you, say, over a refrigerator or over, like, is there any particular reason the Dream Master would pick that one? Uh, it's got a lot of mileage on it and I needed to take it in it's getting close to its um, regular uh, maintenance and uh, it needed new tires hey, it didn't answer the question oh 
What it, do it again. Let I'm working on that kind of situation. So ask it again. Now, he's asking you, how do you account for the fact that the Dream Master chose the mechanic model? Oh. Could it possibly be that it has a particular reference to your particular car and therefore we don't have to go on any higher level? No, no, no. That's or not does it also have a universal level? Go ahead. Yeah, that, um, I'm just wondering, I'm trying to mine a little bit more, like uh, what does the car represent to you that say, if he had thrown the fridge in, he, it, it might not have worked for you. Why would the Dream Master pick that particular one? Does it have, does the, does the Chrysler represent for you, say, emotionally or in any other way, something more meaningful or fun, for instance, or I, I don't want to beg the question yeah. here, but. I know. See, you're asking. Why did the why did the dream master choose made a choice for that metaphor in the dream? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, there's different levels to the car. Uh, as I said, I I've been concerned about whether I wanted to keep it or not, and whether it was too old and it was ready to be junk. That was one level. And the other was, uh, I've had that car since 2009. Uh, it is a car my mother gave me, and I drove it from New Mexico. And I've had it since. It was my main car outside of the Volvo. And I took it all the time up to um, Esalen. It was the trip. It was the car that I would use to go to Esalen because my Volvo couldn't take the drive anymore. Jed and I went with you once in, yeah. the, in the Chrysler. In the Chrysler. So it has a long history. So I didn't want to see it as junk. <laughs> Unless it was absolutely junk. But no. What do you think of the answer? What would you pull out of the answer? <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to gauge that. Uh, if I hear, uh, I don't know how to deal with that. That's a. I mean, it sounds like certainly it has history. It has sentimental value. Mm -hmm. uh, it meant a lot to you. It wasn't just a car you had for a while. What you added is that it, sure. like the fridge, you've had it for a while. But the car, you went special places. It came from your mother. Uh, so all all of that is true, but. The key idea is that it's her mother's car. Okay. It was her mother's car. Uh huh. Um, why do you okay? So why do you say that's the key idea? Yeah. Like why isn't Esalen more important? Hold that. Hi. Hi. Hey. Uh, in your own life, how much? Uh, what kind of gifts did you get from your mother? Zilt. Oh. That worked? That oh, were wait functional? Wait a minute. Then you ended up with her car. Yeah. Oh, you finally got something from your mother <laughs> when she was dead. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah, a year before she died. Yeah, That's what, true. Is, what? What? A year before she died. Oh, then she was alive when you got the car. Yeah. Oh, how did you? How did the, that transfer take place? We didn't want her to drive anymore, so I took the car. <laughs> Pardon me, you took it. Well, she gave it to me. It was. Like, Pardon me, she gave it. Then she did give you a gift. Yes, it was. It was. She, she didn't want to stop, but she had. Um, yes. If we go back, it was forget. My car. <laughs> this was then her, her only gift to you for her whole life. She gave it to you. Yeah, that was that was in good shape and good. It was a good car. I could travel anywhere hey. with it. That, that's interesting. You got a gift from your mother. That's true. The first time you're in your life, you got a gift from your mother. Yeah, that didn't have some problem with it. That's right. Now, why is it in your dream? See? If it takes on that symbolic value, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Everything just 
and you want to preserve it. Mm. Interesting. I so, know. what was it like when you got the car from your mother? What did it do to you? I remember packing it up. I remember I was going to drive it from New Mexico. And I remember thinking it was um, That's interesting because I remember thinking at the time that it was a nice car, but I didn't think at the time that I felt like I, I, I was hesitant to think it was a good car. I was nervous about it, and I didn't feel like it was, I, could, I deserved it. Thank you. That's part of the story. Yeah. Nice. Right. Because it was a pretty roomy car. It was a good little car. Yeah. And it yeah. coming and from... And you didn't think you were worth that you deserved it? No, I yeah. didn't think I deserved it. Yeah. Did you answer the question I asked? I forgot my question. Oh, yeah. What was well, it like when your mother gave you the car? I thought I... I thought it... I felt... Uh, <clears throat> I remember that night. I remember I was, gonna, I was taking it back. How many people are there in your family that she could have given it to? Oh, she could have given it to my sister. Oh, a bunch of people. Oh, she... What's the significance of your mother giving it to you? Oh, huh, I remember... I thought about that. I thought, why didn't she give it to, say, my niece or... Yeah, yeah. My sister. Huh. I don't know. I felt like I shouldn't have gotten it because it made me look special. And I, ah, pardon me. I felt like Hold it. A, so that act was a way of showing you were special, according to your thinking, and you didn't like that. No, well, yeah, because oh. that, I didn't want to think that I was special with my brother and sister. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and you're there. You're perfectly correct in that. There's nothing special about you compared to your brother and sister. <laughs> No, I, yeah, I agree. So. I don't think so. What? <laughs> what? Here well, I'm agreeing with you and you're taking exception to it? Um, that was tricky. <laughs> I find that strange. Here I'm agreeing with someone and they disagree with me. Uh, yeah. Why do you think your mother gave it to you? Using your own words? Well, that I, she gave me something, well, it made me feel special. Didn't I make you feel special. The question is, did she give it to you because you were special? Yeah. Louder? That Louder? she saw that it, I was special and that I, that I would take care of it and that I would... Oh, oh now you're going to still stay with the car. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. yeah, I see. Yeah, she gave it to you only because she knew you were the one who was going to keep it up. I see. Yeah. It has no significance beyond that. I agree. No, it was what? that I was special. You're changing it again. Here I am agreeing again. Weird. <laughs> See, we're unpacking why a, in a dream a metaphor is chosen and we're pulling out all of this behind the idea of the Chrysler. So all of that has to fit into the drama. Right, so uh -huh. here, wouldn't that uh, make it more of a challenge in the dream with the mechanic? Because she said in reality, she's been considering jumping the bar because it's more than a thousand yeah. miles. Right. And in the dream, you're saying, actually, I, I know better than you, and you're just being cheap. Yeah, now and it's different. Right, it's like, you're, you're budding, you know, you're very much challenged. You're saying, I'm a better mechanic than you. Yeah. Or I, I think, right, it's... It's yeah. a challenge of, does your mechanic, is he out to get you, actually? Or right. is he giving you a sound judgment that you're saying, uh, I have a, a certain view of this car, right? Or it would be different if you said, hey, 
this car is sentimental to me, yeah. and I'm willing to throw whatever kind of dollar at it needed to keep it on the road. You know, what is it going to cost? And that wasn't the case, though. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It was easily fixable. Yeah. So, uh, what he are the implications of this on the fact of uh, it could equally apply to your work? Uh, I was thinking that it could apply to midwifery. Oh, yeah. That uh, I'm doing some work on that, and I'm seeing that <laughs> it may not require a lot of work, and I don't want to be superficial about it. But um, that's interesting. Yeah. Like, I've been looking over uh, midwifery again. Oh. <laughs> you mean the Christ that may stand to midwifery? Could be, yeah. And then there's something special in respect to that? That I don't think I am. Just like you didn't think you were when you drove away with your mother's special gift to you? Right. The only gift she gave your whole life? That's right. That's worse. <laughs> <laughs> the Chrysler I can tolerate. Midwifery I'm not too sure about. Yeah, because you validated the study, right? Yeah. That's nothing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> nah. It's not special. Nothing special about her, yeah. her interest in it. And also, she doesn't give talks about it. And, uh, yeah. Occasional. Yeah, right. yeah. There's nothing important. Your name no. happens to be on the orange book. <laughs> yeah. No, that's nothing. That's yeah. We agree. That's right. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> I would no, it's that. special. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. Huh. So really, the Chrysler is is really not the Chrysler. This is, and it's really not even midwifery. It's it's really the, a fight for the very value of you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Now we're on the higher level. What do you mean? What do I mean? Well, you said the very value of yeah. me. Yeah. Well, I I. Keep that, keep that going. Don't throw, don't throw me out. Well, I've been looking at that idea of the piece of coal, and mm. that's kind of how I've been feeling. I see how significant it's been, and that's kind of like who I am. Mm. I think it was funny because you talked how to that coal get used again? you talked to Julie about Cinderella, and I'm going, Same. well, the cinder. Same. Um, can you compare the, um, what was it you got again from your mother? A Chrysler. As a special gift? A car. What was it again? A Chrysler car. Oh, how does that compare with the coal? <laughs> oh, it's different. In what way? What well, was... Did the same person do it? Yeah. What has that been? Interesting. Uh, <laughs> she she, she should have left a turd in the car. She should have. <laughs> <laughs> she should have. Yeah, she changed, right? Yeah. She changed. What is this? What's going on? I don't know. Got two gifts from her. What does the second mean? What does the second do to the coal? turns it around it's like saying it's like taking it back or saying no or or giving some it's like taking it no it's not taking it it's like replacing it yeah. thank you yeah. what's it like seeing that well, it makes me sad that I didn't see it for her oh you should have seen it right away <laughs> yeah. oh I'm so let's would you mind, everybody, let's cry. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay? Yeah. How about you? Did you feel sad it. about her not seeing it before? Yeah. Uh, 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 I'm seeing it now, though. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom was the one that put coal in there from a long time ago, or was it? Yeah. I think you mentioned something to us about didn't you have an insight recently as to how that coal actually functioned in the end? 
as a, a, to describe who I was. Is that what you mean? Like how did your parents, what were they trying to do with that coal? Uh, <laughs> uh, to uh, send me to the nunnery. Right. So if you're in midwifery, did they succeed? No. The mothers must have seen the difference between yeah. What two things? I forget what they were. Uh, midwifery and nunnery. The, and the nunnery. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. And she gave me a car saying that I can go on the road. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's cool. That's, that's like a really... I could leave home, I guess. That's like a really high point in her life. Yeah. Yeah. Considering yeah. the past and everything. Right? Yeah. Say, so, uh, I have to ask you, I always forget the right questions. I feel bad about that. I should have thought of it first. Oh. Maybe I should just forget it then. Uh -huh. I feel so sad. I should have seen it before. Maybe she's the one that's not talking. <laughs> what? What? What is it that you're seeing? I don't think I can say it now. <laughs> <laughs> We'll work on it. <laughs> terrible. What's so terrible? Oh, how did your mother look when she gave you the car? Happy. She was okay. Happy? Yeah, how was. often did you see her happy? She was happy giving you the car. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, we were packing it up. I left early in the morning, and Jeez. she helped out. So, yeah. What does that mean? Um, Pardon me. How happy? Was she smirking? No, she was engaged in helping me pack up the car. And she, what does that mean? Two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> what, what state of mind was she in then? Um, energetic, happy. Energetic, yeah. She had what state of mind was she? It was oh, oh. A moment ago, you said she was that happy. I was her daughter. Hey, was she happy? Yeah, she was happy. Well, how often did you, have you seen oh. her in that state of mind? Oh, that's interesting. She said she was. She recognized that she was her daughter. Ah. Uh, how often? Not that, not that involved. No, nah, very, um, God. What? The last time. Without her yelling and screaming at me? <laughs> I don't recall. In other words, this was rare. Rare is unbelievably Wait a rare. Minute. The only time Maybe in your life you time. saw her that happy giving you the car. Maybe the first time. Uh, hey, yeah. she was happy giving you the car. Happy. You were the special one, is that right? Yep. Oh. Weird. Oh, oh! I forgot to ask you that question. I forgot to ask you the question. <laughs> How did she look during the coal, putting the coal in the stock Christmas Righteous. stocking? Righteous. How'd she look at that time? When Righteous. You opened it up. Righteous. What's the difference between those two states? Oh, she, the being happy came from her. It was like the righteousness was like some. What does righteousness do to that happiness that you experienced when she was happy and cleaning up the car and w w having a meaningful relation with it was you? Is gone. That right? Yeah, it was gone. By the way, is that the only meaningful relation you ever had with her in your her whole life? Without her slamming me? Yeah. I don't recall anything. Therefore? Yeah. I would say that was the first time. But it didn't have that is that uh, element, what did you call it again, right? Righteousness. Yeah, what is that? Or for? followed up with a, some kind of negativity. Oh. Criticism. Oh, so there are two gifts from her that you remember. Yeah. And the one that you keep in mind is the coal. Yeah. How weird. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I, I feel like I did, I guess I didn't deserve the Chrysler. 
Oh, by the way, it's a black never, car. Don't, don't, don't worry about that. You never, you never think you're, you're special for anything. So don't That's make it true. difficult <laughs> because of the coal. Yeah. Yeah, the coal has been dominant, hasn't it? It sure has. What happens if the Chrysler gets dominant? And repaired right? Uh, that I. And you want to keep it? Yeah. And you want to keep it, huh. regardless of what others think of it. True. Is that right? Yeah. Your special status. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Strange. <clears throat> what? Strange. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't think too much of it. It's scary. I don't know. I feel like my head's going to be chopped yeah. off. <laughs> well, so, yeah, wouldn't, that, uh, wouldn't that be the issue there, Peter, saying that, uh, hey, mechanic, <coughs> this car is sentimental to me because of these reasons, and I want to hang on to it. Let's fix it. Or uh, attaching sentimentality to an item that we're in the world of becoming, and everything has a beginning, middle, and end, and it's Eventually, it costs more and more and more to repair old things, so you uh, hang on to that um, special thing in your own mind, because that's, or you need the car as well. Or that it's saying that I, that the repairing is worth fixing, mm. that it's worth holding on to it and, and keeping it. And don't lose. And remember, you're not talking just about right. A it's not a car. Or, it's the idea of being special and holding on to that rather than the coal. Oh sure, but you don't need a car to remember you're special. But if you would like the car as well, to say, hey, this it's is not the, even remembering mom I'm actually, special. Mom really gave me this car, and I want to hang on to that. No, it's not the car. It's not the car, it's what it means. Sure, I mean, right. the act of your mom giving it to you said you're special for once. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for yeah, once. Yeah. For well, what, one thing yeah. is true, though. You can't get too much out of a dream. No. <laughs> you know? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wanted to ask, so she's been hanging on to that cold mm -hmm. situation for a long time, right? And... Since nine years old. Yeah. So, um, is there a way to prove that now that she has this dream about the Chrysler? Yeah. To say that. It, it, oh, to say that it fixes that other coal issue. Yes. And that, and is there a way to say that we can um, prove it? <clears throat> I, I, hold it. What? I don't mean just, to question just, it, but you know. No, no, we got a good issue. Watch. Uh, uh, how? Yeah. Uh, uh, what should you have said to your mother when you got the car? Would it be like. Uh, Thank you for this gift. This is. But are you nice. going to re reflect on the other gift? Yeah, you got? this is this is the this is the this is a gift compared to the coal. The other one you should have gotten, <laughs> but um, but you're also in a different state of mind too, Mom. You're you're not feeling you're not punishing me. You're righteous. You're okay. happy, and we're we're together. Does it look like? She has grown from the coal. And yeah, I could ask her, what are you seeing? Because you've seen something. You're giving me a gift and you're open. You're happy about it. Yeah. You're, it's not a coal. What, what is it that you're seeing? Yeah, because what have you seen in yeah, me yeah. regarding you giving me yeah. something important from you? Right. Yeah. Now, forget all that. Those are questions. Okay. What do you want to tell her? That you're seeing something in me that you couldn't see back then. And what is it then? And you imposed some kind of Christian belief. Hey, she's close to her death. Yes. What does that mean when she's going to her death now, having changed from one to the other? She's... 
waking up to see that. She's waking up? Or she woke up to oh. see oh. that. And to herself. Yeah. Yeah, she woke up to herself and to her children, her child. Uh, would you tell her you're still clinging on to the coal? That you really appreciate the coal, you're still clinging on to it? That I'm cl I would say that? Yeah. I would say, no, Mom, you're not clinging on to the coal. Oh, how about you? Would you tell her you are still, though? If I were there, no, I would s Well, at the time, I did think uh, that. No, no, but, calm, but if I were to say it now, I would say, Mom, um, I'm giving up my coal. And thank you very much for the car to let me know that I can give it up. And the relationship. And the relationship from you is very important. For the first time in our lives. For the first, yeah, for the first time in, in our lives, you have uh, recognized yourself and me. Oh, as she's going towards her as death. As you are going towards your death. <laughs> Or recognizing that you're going to die. Oh, I see. I see. Yes, yeah, she had a breakthrough. Yeah, she had a breakthrough. Wow. How beautiful that yeah, is. Awesome. Oh, oh, by the way, is there some relationship between uh, beauty, truth, and symmetry? <laughs> That's truthful. Thank you. And it's symmetry that she no. is bringing them, together yeah. and working together with me and, and herself okay. to <clears throat> truth come on to uh, reveal the truth right wow hey. about hey. <laughs> 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 oh, you're pulling teeth <laughs> but oh. it's good but you wow. can't, can't get too much out of a dream, though. No. <laughs> can't get much no. out at all. Mm. And this all has to do also with midwifery. Yeah. It definitely it does. The book you wrote with Pierre? And the work I'm doing now with it. Yeah. Like, mm. I'm much more active in talking about it and wanting to talk about it and recognizing that I did do some good work in it. Uh, like the chapter on the comparison can can get areas of better explanation, but it is a nice, good chapter of where psychology stands today. I think I might have heard from a birdie somewhere that you might even be doing some uh, repairing and upgrading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that not a current project? Enhance uh, working on certain areas that need um, more explanation, better explanation. So we might see a uh, version two come out. Yeah. yeah. But definitely with updated psychology and updated validation. And the whole idea of cause really woke me up. Pierre gave me that assignment on Hume. And it just turned me around on what is, it gave me a whole different view of psychology and philosophy and, and my role to myself. Mm. How I could see myself. Curious. Right? I'm puzzled on how it's working still. Mm. <laughs> how it's working? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? So, for her, when she got the car that first time, there was no way for her to recognize that her mom's doing a good thing and trying to cover up for the coal. <coughs> yes. She could not see it? Right. Th that's right. Ask her, because rather than you and I agreeing, <laughs> why don't we... Why did you see that when she was doing something good for you at that time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what kept you from seeing yeah. it? Yeah, since you're seeing it now. Because were you just, was it, was the coal scene more powerful? Before? Yes. Is that what it was? Hmm. Well, I, yes. And I didn't understand that that was what it was that was blocking me, was...
that scene with the coal until I started exploring it. Interesting, huh? Well, how do you like that? Well, because I'm, I'm, oops, I'm trying to. Do, oh, it's okay. Pardon me. Yeah. I I was um. So let's do this because it's it going break? around this thing. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. It, but, is it okay? Yeah. Yes. But I was just thinking about my situation just real quickly. That I I hit my brother, you know, on the leg with a bat because he was on drugs. <laughs> And, uh, and he was being a jerk. He was. But that was like 30 years ago. Um, yesterday. I know. <laughs> it's like yesterday. <laughs> but it never got really resolved. So you need to talk. Well, I don't know if I need to talk. Or, oh, or, with him, maybe. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, because I think he's still dealing with it, too. Yeah. So maybe it's very similar to other people that sure. have, have the this, this same issue. Yeah. But it's true. I mean, things like that, I'm still carrying on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When, whenever our family gets together, when, or whenever I see him. Yeah, you got that. Uh, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> it's very heavy. See, but see, that's so important. That's in front of you to deal with. <laughs> And it's hard to deal with, too. No, it isn't. Oh. It's only after you... S By the way, if you d dealt with it, would it be, d would it be hard? <laughs> no, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just like, okay, I finally got it off my chest or off my back. <laughs> it's hard getting it out of you, yeah. but it may be not hard to... Yeah, right. Thank you, sir. Right, Thank Helen? Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can't get much yeah. out of a, a drink. Sure. No, you're just, and you're the short ones especially, they don't have anything in them. Yeah, the, the brief, what? The, the brief short ones. ones. The brief ones, yes. <laughs> it, it highlights, it highlights too, right? That, I mean, here's the end of her life. Like, it's just a game. She's giving up the game, right? It's just a, like, yeah. it's just a game. Jesus. And here's the, it, right? And she dropped. She was able to drop it, at the end. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know what you found interesting. I'm pretty well, slow. Well, she dropped. She, she was able to drop it at the end. Yeah. Like she dropped her view of whatever she saw herself. Yeah. Before. Yeah, the the yeah. whole thing. Yeah. Right? She and had to see herself was. for that yeah. transition. And it's like, it's like, I mean, uh, it, maybe it, uh, it skipped a tragedy, right? It, yeah. it would have been nice to have her That's right. do that at the beginning of her life. Yeah. Right? But she didn't, but she did at the end. No, no, it wouldn't have been but, worthwhile to have done in the beginning. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. No? What, what about the value of learning? Oh. Uh, but then, yeah, of course, but, but. Okay. I value learning. Yeah. Value learning. Is, is learning time? Yeah. <laughs> she learned something she about herself and about her view about her world and yeah. her, her, she may never have put it into words, but she knew there was a difference and mm. she acted on it. How did the nunnery, wanting, them wanting you to go into a nunnery, how did that function for them? Oh, that was... Like, uh, what would that do for them? Elitist in the family. Oh, oh it was a status thing. Sure. <laughs> so you're saying that at, towards the end of the life, then she's seeing that that status was not as important now looking back as she had thought it was? To that degree, yeah. yeah. She had to give it up. Wouldn't it be interesting, interesting. if, if wow. you had asked her when she was giving you the Chrysler, what, like, what made her come around? Yeah. What yeah. happened, right? Like, what without she see? the, yeah. Well, sure. But you know, 
Do you remember uh, the guy used to be a Friday night? Brad? Brad? Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Because um, he would ask an interesting question, I think. What was that? Yeah. Um, say, um, uh, if you just saw all of that stuff, uh, is it possible? Is it possible that your mother looked at the Orange Sutra? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she did at the end of her life. Did she have a copy? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, well. Oh. You can be sure she cracked it yeah. open, right? Sometime along her she, life. Oh, she, she probably read it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if she even... Oh, you know Brad? Uh, yeah. Is that the kind of question Brad would ask? I hope so. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> she knew you helped with the book, right? Yeah, well, she, I gave her a copy as soon as it came out. Oh, yeah. So then she went off into the next world with midwifery. To <laughs> some degree. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know parents always read the meaningful stuff in secrets. I have experience with that. Yeah. Yeah, is it possible that she even not only she never rec it, she never recognized that? Although my sister would say that my not about the book, but say that my mother was proud of me. There was one time where my sister would say said that. Mm. No, my brother. I'm sorry. So your brother saw it too. My brother, no. No. Pardon me, but your brother oh, wait, wait, did wait, wait, report. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. If he reports it, then he what, sees it. My sister. Yeah. What is it that your sister forwarded that your mother said? I'm missing that. I think my sister one time said, you know, your mother, mom, how did she put it? Mom, uh, I don't remember. I don't remember the uh, exact It's okay. Story. You can just give us the general thought. That, Go ahead. That, uh, that saw that, uh, that there, uh, she, talks, she talks about you in a good way. Oh. In a good way. Oh. I bet you she brought that book to dinner and to show off to her friends. She Not that she'd be. ever admit that to you, but no. she would probably super, like Eldar is saying, she read it. She showed it off. Oh, I don't think so. I bet she read the Bragged whole about thing you. My, carefully. My daughter's an author. She may have. Well, yeah, she's dying. She's like, I better do something and quick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I my know. daughter can help me. <laughs> I'll call up my sister and so find your out. Your mother is waking up, isn't she? Mine? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Oh, far. I gave her a copy when it came out. She read it. She fluctuates back and forth. But yeah. you caught her on an upswing, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, good. That shows something about her. It's a very similar stories, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Watch out. Huh. I should get a copy for my parents. Oh. Yeah. For your parents. Yeah, beautiful. Wow. That, thanks, Gina. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Is that is is there another dream? Is it a I have a dream. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know. Do we have time here? <sighs> it's twelve o'clock. Do you have to be anywhere, Doctor G? Pardon me? It's noon. Do you have to be anywhere? <laughs> Check <my slides. laughs> Other than here. I saw some smoke <laughs> signals over there. <laughs> Because Eldar is saying he's got another. Oh, well, I'll bring it out. <clears throat> From last night? Um, I hope. <clears throat> it wasn't last night, but the night before. Oh. oh. So this is after the one that we did last night. I get it. Thank you. Thank you. And he remembered this dream. <laughs> Thank you, Pierre. I'll see you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Take care. See you, Doctor.
Here. That one has a little bit cut off the bottom. This is this has an extra line. Let me mm -hmm. take this one. Is that the one with the pit at the end? Yeah, do you have it at the end? Yeah. What is oh. the, what's the next sentence say? <laughs> like another sentence. Yeah, me too. I just have it. Do you have it was beautiful at the end? Was that important? Yeah. What do you make of the dream? It's uh, I find it I find it kind of fun and interesting but <clears throat> the weird thing to me is that when this this guy said to me when Daniel said to me leave him alone don't, don't sit there um, I didn't really know what he meant but I didn't ask him either mm. because I was like I was walking away and I mean no, what I followed from not asking that question because you did walk away saying, what, 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 did you know? Yeah, I was, um... I walked away and I was thinking, what? Yeah. It's kind of like because I was excited about, maybe because I was excited about the piano and like I was caught up in something. Yeah. So that I didn't. Yeah. But what follows from that? No, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Uh, what did he preve prevent you from doing? Well, 
I'm not sure if he did prevent me, but I didn't end up playing with the group. Oh, that's all. Whether that's because yeah, of him, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Now, what, what did he do again? He prevented you from what? But I don't know if he prevented me. Well, I don't know either, but just how did, what does the dream say about it? Because I was walking away already anyway when he said that. I don't know the word anyway. Like, before he told me to not sit there, I had already decided to walk away to another spot because I didn't like that spot. Did you then get the, the ideal spot you wanted? I don't think it was the ideal spot. No. no it wasn't. Yeah. <clears throat> Say, uh, <clears throat> uh, state of mind to tell me, uh, uh, um, what was it like when <coughs> the, the keyboard lit up? What was that like? Oh, it was beautiful. I don't know what that word It means. was, uh, I was in awe and happy and appreciating and like would you mind telling me what the experience was like please it was beautiful ah. it was um <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll help you yeah, yeah, that uh, was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, I mean, I saw it lit up and it was really nice and functional and it I had mean, all the you bells. Mind describing <laughs> what it was like when you saw it, it was lit up. See how much trouble I'm having? Yeah. Maybe describe it in, in other ways. Let's maybe I can pull it out of him like teeth. <laughs> so it was a little bit beautiful. It was almost glowing. What? Glowing. Like what? Like if you were to paint it. Oh yeah. That moment. What would what would it be like? It would be red and striking and um, well, like kind of has a halo or a or an aura around it yeah but just just a little uh, LED light no what do you mean no it was like it was like it's like it was almost like rainbow lights it wasn't different colors but it was very a rainbow but a little a little rainbow like a little around Candle. No, it was. It was alive. Oh, it was, it was like just a little. There was a little thing, huh? No. When I was looking at it, it was kind of. It it took up. It took up. Um, Maybe a square foot. I mean. When I was looking at it, that's yeah, just, all. The, just a square foot. When I was looking at it, that's all there was. Pardon me. It took up all the space. Oh. It wasn't actually that big, but it's. But it took up all the space. But it just. Yeah. The beauty of it yeah. was like. Yeah, it took up all the space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dull. No. No. It, it was like electric, but alive it was like it was a machine but it's it yeah was, but it, it wasn't functioning like it was, what, what what was going on that beauty oh, was it beauty you used that word beauty before yeah yeah ever see anything as beautiful as that mm. having the impact it had on you maybe a girl but that's i can't i can't remember anything now oh oh that yeah. it, it was really balanced and what what? It was really the beauty was very balanced and and it's not just 
an object that's like a rock. No. It's like, it's a functional, beautiful thing. I don't thing. know what the word functional means. There was also a endless potential there. I don't know what that means either. Well, it if you were to paint it, right, certainly the canvas would yeah. be quite big. I think the canvas would be singing. The yeah. canvas would be actually like emitting Alive. music. Huh? It would be, music would be coming out of the canvas. Yeah, yeah. So like a humming, like a yeah, bzzz. yeah. So it had that quality. It's also beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, but all of the colors were dull. No. Yeah. The main. It's like a dull rainbow. No, the main color was red. It was like a Ferrari red. And it was like. It was a perfect red. It was that was the what perfect it, red. What did it do to you? <laughs> actually, I want a red keyboard now. What? I would like to have a red keyboard actually. <coughs> what did it do to you? Um. I know, you wanted to get the hell away from me. <laughs> no, I wanted to like dive into it. Oh. And just. Oh. I wanted to play it. I, I, it was. Um, hmm. Why did you get into it? What? Why did you get into it? Yeah. Oh. 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 But why is that? At that time? Well, well, why is that? I can help you because we're so alien. <laughs> no, because I think I could u really use it to express myself and really make it make it sing. Like, oh. oh. Like, um, I feel like I could become one with it in the dream. Oh, let me do that again. Oh. Which one was better, first or second? Uh, second. Oh, okay, okay. What's going on in your dream? I don't know. Oh. I found something amazing. Made a discovery. You saw its full potential. Yeah. Hmm. What does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, I saw what it can really do. More than I did before. Hmm. Um, uh, what could it really do to you? What it could do to me? Yeah, what could it really do to you? I mean, it could really wake me up. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I think this has to do with... Uh, this is like uh, reading the Timaeus. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, who's the guy that got you into that store? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, hey, uh, Pierre, just looking at this stream here, it says right off the first one, I'm walking with a group of people where Pierre is the leader. Okay. And then the, uh, the next paragraph, it gets a little more interesting because mm -hmm. it says, and then Pierre says, hey, let's go in here. You can buy something really cheap and sell it. Whereas paragraph four, we're looking at elders like what? People were not really res or not very responsive to this idea. Which the rest of the dream says by going into this store, you find a good pair of work pants and this pretty awesome piano. So I'd start to wonder, uh, was that what? What is you know the when you hear, hey, let's go into this store and get cheap stuff. I'm curious about the uh, the what, and also when it says people were not very responsive to that idea, is that, are you in the group mentality of this, or 
is that them and you're just going to follow along with Let's see hold on to the first idea uh, do you remember what you the way you expressed it uh All right, so which part of the Pierre is saying, hey, let's go in here, and then there's the what. I'm curious about the what and what that means to him. No, right and on. also, yeah. if he's uh, this group of who's not interested, is he holding their view, yeah. or is he following yeah. along? You dropped out one of the key ideas you raised, uh -oh. which is he's pointing out this is a place that's cheap and you can sell it. Sure, and Hold it, it. if we go with the Sell selling it. it part, what would he be doing? What well, he would then take those work pants, or, or if if you went with the leader's idea, he would be taking these I, things and selling them, like the piano or the work pants. But in, in the dream, it seems like he finds something that's personally going to be useful for him. That's true. I'm not sure how to deal with that part. But now go to the the point we were making up to this point. Well, it seems, Therefore, uh, what would, what is, how well, the could... the Pierre guy has the idea, hey, let's go in here. Like, I know that there's good stuff in here. And it's that act, that turns out to be quite accurate as where this group of people is not into the idea. Mm -hmm. That's true. And it works out very That's well true. for you. That's true. So, uh, see the point he's making? Uh, does that mean uh, this guy Pierre thinks you ought to be able to sell it, what you discovered? Yeah, that's what he thought. Mm. Oh, well, what is it you discovered? Something I want to keep. What was that? The piano and the pants. <laughs> the piano and the pants. <clears throat> what were you discovering about the, the lighting of the computer? Well, uh, I was discovering. Can you say that one again, Pierre. The lighting of the computer. The light, okay. Uh, the no. keyboard. The How uh, important is that in the dream? It's uh, it's, it's, it's crucial. It's. Oh, it's, it's crucial. And if the guy is suggesting you, are, you could get it because it's cheap and then sell it. What would you then have to do if that were the case? Well, then I would have to let go of that, that piano sell it and I don't want to do that uh -uh. that's not what it's saying it's not what it's saying what's the last sentence it was beautiful no where's the idea of potential mm -hmm. but this one had the right power cable and it was working to its full potential you saw its full potential Jane is asking you right does it mean, is that meaning that you sell it? No. Or, oh. Like, I don't, don't want to. But whether but you could do what? Well, I could. Um, sell as metaphor. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I could, uh, I could like, I could perform with it and I could. Um, oh, I, I could see. Play Good. music. I could, yeah, okay. Yeah. I could make a band. Yeah, could, yeah. No. What? No. What? What's wrong with what I'm saying? Nothing. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's okay. <clears throat> what? I don't know. Just what, what is that experience you you described a short while ago? It was beautiful. And everything it meant that you developed? Yeah. Oh, what does Pierre think you ought to do with it? Um, well, he doesn't, he doesn't even, buy it cheap and sell he, he it. doesn't even um, know about this, what's happening here. You he know? got me into the store, oh, yeah, but he okay. doesn't. Yeah, okay. Is you can buy something really cheap and sell it. You mean that? What would what would you be doing if you were to get it out to others, sell it? That is. 
what would I be doing? Yeah. Well, I would be. I would lose what I love. Well, no, hey, no. Uh, it took me a second, Eldar. Think of it like you know when uh, when people are voting and you want to get them on board with your. You go out and sell the idea. Like you're not actually asking for money. Like hey, vote yes on Proposition Three because it's going to improve our whole community. Like the, you know, like they would. Well, at least in uh, in America, they would go with that's you might call that selling the idea, not actually uh, asking for any cash. And, and you wouldn't it lose up. it, right? And you don't lose anything. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's a different use of the word selling. Oh. That's that's. Let me do that again. Oh. oh. I mean, I like it, but that's oh. that's not what the dream says. But oh, okay. oh, that's true. Okay. Yeah, you might have to understand it with the metaphors. Okay. Yeah. Um. Like, remember Gina had to understand the Chrysler of the metaphors? Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, you I'm, do the same thing. I'm fine with that. Yeah, with sell it. Um. It's cheap. You're going to be able to not... Uh, you could do something. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I could. Um, I could use it as my instrument to sell my myself, to sell, uh, you know, my band or. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Um, how else could I sell it? Um, selling it. Yeah, what would you have to do if you were to, uh, um, <clears throat> whatever cell means, uh, pass on what you saw was so beautiful. Oh. To pass on what I saw. What, what? I would be like a, like a music teacher. Oh, because music teachers are able to bring about that experience among all people that they play with and learn to teach with. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, that's what music teachers do. They bring on that state of mind. Yeah. Yeah. No? no I'm wrong again? This isn't a practical dream. To pass on what I experience with the piano, uh, then I would, well, I would, I would be, I would be like a midwife. Oh, and why don't, I'm not familiar with that term. What does that mean? What would you be doing? Well, I would, um, I would help people to if they want to, to remove their blocks. What, what? To remove their, to see their path logos. Yeah, that's true. And, um... Yeah, that's true. And then they might be open to that kind of experience. Oh! Oh, what does that do to what you've been talking about up to this point? Um... Well, it changes it. Oh, and a little bit? No, a lot. A lot, a lot of bit, it which it, means more than two bits. Takes it to a much... What? It takes it to a much deeper level. Well, then, how would you be functioning? It takes it out of music and into... Um, 
truth. Out of symmetry and into truth. Oh, oh. What did it get you to see that? Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Um, what did it take to me? The changing the word cell. Cha right. The metaphor. Don't wait, wait. take metaphors literally. Right. Yeah, I was really holding on to that yeah. selling. Eldar, I have one with the cell that could help. It took me a minute, too, when I, I watched they got it, and I'm like, I was going <laughs> with the American cell. I'm like, oh, it took a second. Yeah. Uh, you ever heard that term of selling water by the river? Yep. Is that good? I've heard it. Or selling ice to an... Selling a fridge to an e to an Eskimo. Yeah, right. Ice to an Eskimo. No, 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 no. Selling water, it's a Buddhist thing. The, the master, they say he's oh. selling water by the river. Oh, that I don't know about that. Oh, yeah, yeah that's a... a it's, it's very cheap. Right. Like... Uh, so what does that mean? <laughs> it's already it's there. <laughs> it's already there. And, and, but what... I, yeah, and what I was seeing that, but it was still amazing, and you thought it was beautiful, and there was a lot of symmetry in it. So the, even the keyboard, what does it represent to you? Yeah, don't take it as a keyboard. Yeah, it's not something you sell and keep and hold on to, but there was an experience related to it. It's beauty. It's. Uh, Pardon me. Could you please answer the question? What does the idea of the piano mean to you right now in your world of music? It means a lot. <laughs> it means. We have a bag uh, of There are some tomatoes. lots that I'm are just smaller, starting. and then I'm some, just starting. Lot, some lots are larger. Yeah. So this is a lot. Uh, it's a box of oranges. Yeah. It means. Yeah. It's very meaningful. I'm I'm reading the Timaeus right now, and I'm uh, I'm seeing the the way that he talks about the um, the the mixing the mix the mixture the mixture that he uses to um, to to fashion the soul and the, those. Um, those portions that he distributes uh, correspond with the diatonic scale on the piano. Yes. And the piano I'm seeing is set up in exactly the same way as this. I like that. By the way, what is your interest in the piano right now in your world of music? It's central. Oh, that's clear. It's that's very. That's it sounds very like my answers. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> I hear myself. <laughs> it's like it's 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 like building the foundation for all the everything I'm going to do with music. Oh, it's like the build it. The, the fundamental building blocks to... Hmm. That's what the piano is in your dream. Right. It ain't a piano. It's what it represents. <clears throat> By the way, <clears throat> The thing you're leaving out in this discussion on, what was it, the name of the work? Timaeus. Ty, is that Plato? Yeah. Oh, oh. What did it do to you when you were into that, going through that? It was really lovely. I don't know what lovely means. I, um, it, it, um, it opened me up. It was like, I haven't read for that long for a very long time and stayed with the reasoning and I, I was 
It's like I was, um... I was able to see that I can do it. What was it like seeing that you could do it? It's something that had all the meaning you just described. What did it do to you? It's... It, um... It showed me that I can use my mind on a on a high level. Oh, is that uh, using your mind on a high level with that light stuff? Yeah, not quite. Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of mind. There's a lot of mind in that. In oh, that scene. I see. Thank you. Is that something like a brilliant light of being? I think so. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, actually, when I was... When I was reading the Timaeus, I... was reading it for quite a while, and I got a bit scared there. When? At one point. When? When I started to see that I'm about to see... the implications of what I had just read. When it started coming together? That's the dream. The potential. It is? Isn't that what you said? You saw the full potential? Oh, yeah. And it was beautiful? Sure was. Backed out of that uh, experience, didn't you? I did, yeah. Touched on it. It was scary. Yeah. Uh, hey, Eldar. Pass it my way. When you, uh, when you have that recognition, I'm going to see it. Is that the, uh, the what? No, I would no. say it no. was... It was, um... Well, it wasn't as strong in the dream as it was with the reading. Thank you. And actually so, also... You mean it was more so? With the reading. Yeah. And, and last... Uh, what does that mean, more so? Uh, I mean, it's like... Oh, yeah. Now I got it. Go ahead. I had this, I had this thought. <laughs> <laughs> you, I had changed, this. you changed it. Go ahead. I had this thought. I changed it? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. While I was reading the Timaeus, I had this thought that... Um, uh, I was thinking about how... how, the, how limiting the pathologos are in the family and how it's, it's like a closed worldview. And then I was thinking, what I'm reading is actually trying to understand God. Mm -hmm. And that just struck me as... What was it like at that moment? It was... Um, It was a big, um, it was a big deal. It was like... I don't know the big deal. It was... Um, <laughs> Describe it. Paint it. Sculpt it. What would it be? Well, it's like... What would it be? What was it like? Okay. Um, it was very real. Yeah. Quite of real. <laughs> it was. It was very. Step um, your toe on something and makes it real. Mm. <sighs> I'm. I'm getting that feeling of being scared even now as I talk about it. Yeah. 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 It's working. <laughs> it's working. What's working? 
you're scared blocks you from saying what you're saying. By the way, uh, what was what was it like being in the time is at that moment and seeing that uh, that reference you just made to God? What was that like? It was really meaningful and really. Uh, compare it with the dream experience of beauty. It was similar, but it wasn't it wasn't so flashy and bright. It was more um, It was more fundamental somehow. It was more um, like it touched a deeper part of me, it mm. seems like. No, Trina's going to ask you, do you mind ex describing that? Go ahead. Do you mind describing that? Yeah, it was like... Um, It was like, I'm doing this. It's like I'm, I'm actually trying, I'm actually understanding my reality. Like I'm, I'm working on actually understanding. This isn't some belief or some... Um, yeah. Now what was that like? You were comparing it with that dream episode, remember? It was very light. <coughs> oh. It, it was very... Let me do that again. Oh. Very light, <clears throat> and um, it wasn't bound by anything. It was just kind of like floating and mm. um, uh, free. It was yeah. very free. Think you're going to end up teaching that stuff? Teaching that stuff? I don't know. That's selling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Oh. I had a, I had a question though. Um, <clears throat> what does the everything include? Which everything? Everything was lit up. Oh, it includes um, the whole thing. Like the the keyboard has lights. Is that just the keyboard? The way you've been describing what it was like reading the Timaeus. Mm. Well, like the keyboard has lights on it, but it wasn't just the lights that were that were lit up. It's like the whole the whole keyboard and. Some of the space around the keyboard was lit up. Oh, just the, just that. It says everything. Well, that that was everything. Hey. In that moment, that was everything. You're forgetting entirely the experience. She's not talking about the, the piano or the keyboard no. or the computer. She's talking about the experience you had. You're reducing it back to a thing. Now, do you want to get off that? Answer her <laughs> properly. Yeah, sure. It was, um... <laughs> very open. Very, um... Very delicate. What? <laughs> what was very delicate? Uh, the experience of of seeing the seeing the 
seeing the, the, the depth and the significance uh, of what I'm doing, uh, is at the, everything at the same time, and the freedom of that moment. Yeah, I guess my memory failed me. I thought you said you woke up. Yeah, it was like, when I realized that thing about God, it was like, um, it's, it's kind of like, <laughs> there's this new, it's like now there is a new idea of God, and I'm like, I'm, I'm taking steps to understand what's actually going on and that that's like that it, that just dissolves the old um, idea do you remember how you described that to Pierre what it was like <laughs> like it was very open and um, meaningful and deep and, and yeah. kind of like floaty, airy. Still scary. Yeah. No, I said airy. Scary. Scary. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got to back away from that. Yeah. Yeah. Scary. Implications are best not to consider. Right? Right. Right. We understand. But you did share it. Yeah, you did. I did. Yeah, whether you like it or not, you did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot it, see? <laughs> <laughs> you went back to the physical, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tough to hold on to the meaning, isn't it? Especially on this stuff, it's kind of scary, right? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. starts to really take off. Yeah. At one point. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Pierre. Did you drive? Oh, want to take me right? Sure. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Thank yes, you, sir. sir. I think there's something on your yeah. head.